My name is Beryl Brenner and I'm from New York City. I am delighted to be exhibiting my work at the 8th Annual Glass National, being shown at the beautiful Workhouse Art Center in Lawton, Virginia. I have been a professional artist for many years. I have a BA degree in Fine Arts and an MA in Art Ed. I think it's really important to get a good solid art education if you want to pursue it as a profession. I started working in glass at a young age and have been working in it for decades. Although I started by working in stained glass, I currently work primarily in fused glass or mixed media, which sometimes incorporates fused glass. I generally rent studio space at Bullseye Glass and they have a great selection of glass types to work with. Like most artists, my initial exposure to colored glass art was in a house of worship as a child. Of course, growing up in New York City was a wonderfully rich environment for a person who wished to pursue art. My formal education and my New York City taxi cab driver father exposed me to some of the best museums and art galleries on the planet. When I was young, Marc Chagall's stained glass windows were being shown at the Museum of Modern Art. They were so different and so innovative. I loved the fact that one of the great painters of the world was experimental enough to try working with glass. He translated his unique style to this material, and he did brilliantly. For every glass artist living on planet Earth, Dale Jehuli changed the world. He proudly made glass front and center. I have two works shown in the exhibition. One is a very large work that covers an entire wall. It's called I Traveled This Land. There were numerous inspirations for this piece. It shows the 50 states plus Washington, D.C. interpreted in glass, set out against the map of the USA. Ultimately, as an adult, I spent the bulk of my career working with American veterans. For years, I ran an art center on an army base, and I spent years working for the VA. I worked with thousands of American veterans. I had the privilege of meeting veterans from all over the country, and they taught me so much about the places they had lived in. I yearned to visit these places, and eventually my dream came true. I did get to visit all 50 states. It was an amazing experience, and I highly recommend it. Like most places in the world, we are currently struggling with many things, and this can be very overwhelming. It's a difficult period to say the least. However, in spite of that, we are a strong and resilient people. We have struggled with difficult periods before. My supermarket has a little cafe attached to it, and when I go there for a meal, I can see the Statue of Liberty through the plate glass window. Even now, after all of these years of living in a city where I get to see it often, it still inspires me in a wonderful way. I could sit there for hours thinking about what it means. The second piece that I'm showing in the exhibition is called Vibrant Trees. Because of the fact that I grew up in one of the most urban concrete places on the planet, I traditionally had a strange sense of nature. The nature that I was exposed to existed in Central Park. When I was growing up, I did not realize that this was a man-made park designed by Frederick Law Olmsted. As I grew older and had more exposure to the rest of the country, I began to see and understand nature in a completely different way. I used to think that most trees were pretty much the same. These days, I have come to see the difference and often refer to them in the artwork that I create. Ironically, because of Central Park, New York City has the greatest variation of tree species for any American city. I have toured it 11 times and learned something new each time that I do. For me, it's a whole new way of looking at things. For more information about my work, visit BerylBrennan.com. And for more information about the exhibition, visit workhouseartz.org.